invent her a karaoke night. Epic. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I was not expecting karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that's the best way to build, like, character. <laughs> to build a character. Yeah. Stage persona. That's right. So what night is this? This is, you know, the week weekends, Friday, weekends. Saturday, night. Friday and Saturday. And where's this place again? The Golden China, Ventura, California. The Golden, Golden. China. You guys and should come down sometime. Wow. We're going to have to like, go. Oh, so we're going to have to go down, aren't we? Yeah. Three of us. <laughs> all right, Golden good. China, well, sure. You know what we could do? We could do the national anthem. All four of us <laughs> all together. All four of us. Perfect. Honey, you're in. <laughs> So what makes uh, what makes this karaoke extra special? Well, they have a nice big stage, and usually by the time I get on around ten o'clock, people have had a few drinks. You bust out a little she, journey. She prefers the drunk crowd. You know, they're, they're more amiable. I think. <laughs> Is it just the ju- drunk crowd when you're singing German? <laughs> That might be it. Right. You know, little Don't Stop Believing. Michael right. Jackson, Pretty Young Thing, always goes oh, down Oh, nothing wrong well. with that. Like she said, listeners, don't stop believing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving on, Hanny, is, where is your favorite or most unusual place to play? Hmm. Oh, it's a hard act to follow there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, seriously? Hmm. One of my favorite venues, and experienced it one one concert night at playing the Electric Good at Red Rocks, Colorado, with mm. the Violent Femmes, and the song was "Blister in the Sun," and it was phenomenal. It was amazing. Red Rocks is an amazing venue. That was uh, so. That's one of. The, I mean, there's so many places to keep. Oh, wow, that energy. that would be hard to top that one. That was yeah. well. That's a good one too. Haven't you played for the Dalai Lama? What? Yes, yes. During the, uh, it's called the. Uh, it was. It takes place in Los Angeles every four years, I believe. It was called the Sacred Music Festival. It's like wow. in 2005 or seven. I'm not sure when the last one was, but it's an amazing festival. If you ever get a chance, it's just called the Sacred Music Festival. Oh, gosh. Oh, and, that's awesome. And it happens throughout the Los Angeles area. Yeah. Yeah. Some shows in Topanga, at Royce Hall, UCLA, at, at the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion. Amazing stuff going hmm. on. Well, now it's, I think it's called the... Uh, Disney Pavilion, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, at the yeah. Disney Concert yeah. Hall. Disney Concert Hall. Maybe, I don't know if the Chandler's still there or not, but anyway, so that was that. But wow. another venue I think is great is Telluride. Telluride has an amazing backdrop, the mountains to backdrop on the stage. And, and this bluegrass festival takes place there. So a lot of, and then in this case, it was the World Music Festival. So that's another great venue. you got to play there, too. Ooh, I would love to. You'll love it. You should play that one. Yeah. Yeah. So you're a fan of playing in Colorado, then? I love Colorado. Yeah. Colorado is a great place. Mm. So, um, as Hannes just said, we need, we need to get Jade a gig at the festival in Colorado. Yeah. Check yes, out. please. Yeah. If people who work <laughs> for the Festival of Colorado... What's it called again, Hanny? The Bluegrass? Well, there's the... Uh, Tell you right, Bluegrass Festival, and then and there's a the Bear uh, uh, Rock and Brew Festival or the Blues and Brew Festival. Hmm. That's another great festival, Blues Festival. So if you're listening out there and you work for any of these festivals, please call in. Um, mm-hmm. You can call the radio station or you can contact <laughs> Jade Hendricks at jade-hendricks.com. That's jade-hendricks.com. <laughs> <laughs> So, and uh, just one sec, back to Hanny. Didn't you play at the signing, what was it called? The, the signing of the peace treaty uh, between Jordan and Israel. Was, yeah, it was during the, the peace process and the signing. And it, it was in collaboration with David Broza from Israel. Yeah. And uh, he's an amazing singer-songwriter out of Israel. Uh, we've toured throughout 
throughout the Middle East, throughout the U.S., Canada. But it was during that time, during the peace signing between uh, Rabin and King Hussein, they were signing the peace treaty. They Did extended a banner. I mean, this is now I'm remembering it from Elot, from Elat, Israel, to Aqaba, Jordan. A banner with hundreds, thousands of children's handprints connecting. Oh wow! Wow. And we they set the stage in the middle of the Red Sea. There, right, right. It was amazing. It was an amazing uh, uh, time, and uh, it's just a drop in the peace process. But every drop counts. Mm -hmm. At some point, we'll fill that bucket. We could fill it with blood, or we could fill it with love. We have a choice. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and didn't the two of you, uh, during the conflict, didn't the two of you tour around playing oh, together? Yes, we toured throughout the war zones. They helicopter us into the Lebanese-Israeli border right there and set up the stage. And all sides came to the concert. And for a, a couple of days, there wasn't a fire shot. People were just in the world of love, which is vibrations, which is what allows for people to get out of their ego and the, the BS and get into a state of mind of, hey, what am I doing? Yeah. It may last for a short period of time, but if you save one life during that time, it's worth it. One life is all we have to save whenever we can. More, if we can, of course. But if we could save one life and doing one thing in our lifetime and save one life, that's why we're there. That's why we're doing what we do. So for those of you who've just tuned in, we're listening to a real-life example of how music can be used to break down borders between people. Um, and Hani Nasser, who has joined us in the studio today, was talking about how during the conflict between Jordan and Israel, Hani, who is from Jordan, um, and another musician who's from Israel... David toured, Broza. I'm sorry, can you say David Broza. David Broza uh, toured the Middle East together, playing for peace. Um, and then ultimately the two of them played at the signing of the peace treaty between those two countries. And uh, I have to say, listen, that story was seriously special. Thanks, Hani, for uh, sharing that. So I, we're going to take another break because it's coming close to the end of the show. And uh, I think we can squeeze in one more song by Jade. You got another one to play live for us? Yeah. And then, yeah, and then right. Hanny, Hanny is going to finish off the show with a song, if that's all right, Hanny. Just a little tune. Just, Just a little, little tune. tune. All right, well, sure. we're going to play one song by Jade so we can prepare ourselves for the concert that's coming ahead. Pete Jade, folks. which one do you want him to play? How about Third Sister? Third Sister yes. is coming up. Third Sister by Jade Hendricks. I can think of
you were just listening to Third Sister by Jade Hendricks. Um, and Jade is our guest in the studio today. You're listening to Excite Radio, and we're Heartbeat of a Planet. I'm Aaron. And I'm Phil. And Hanny Nasser has just left the building to uh, go and tune his oud, which we're going to finish off with. But right now, we've got another track by Jade Hendricks. But before she plays, we would just love to say you can find Jade at www.jade-hendricks.com. And you can also get in touch with us at www.heartbeatofaplanet.com. There's a contact page there. Feel free to write us a line, anything. And it's Heartbeat of a Planet. People get confused sometimes and say the planet, and then they can't find us online. But it's heartbeatofaplanet.com. I didn't say. No, I know you didn't. Thank I wasn't God. talking about you. <laughs> I, I, she, she had a few words to me earlier about this. <laughs> <laughs> Only because other people have been saying it so frequently yeah. that Phil started to say it. And I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> so, so, Jade, introduce the next song. Tell us what, where you were, what you were feeling when you wrote this. And here we go. Well, my last song of the night will be the first song that I ever wrote. It's called Tunnel's Light. I wrote it when I was 14 years old. Um... I saw this photograph of a man um, leaning against the bus stop, like the little, you know, hard on his luck, um, and he was holding the hand of his toddler son, and he was just gazing down at him with such love and reverence, you know, he just knew that in spite of maybe some dire circumstances, um, he just wanted the most for his child. So I wrote this song from his uh, perspective. Wow. That is beautiful. <laughs> Have to. <do> <laughs> Touching, Jade. And the story about how you wrote that, Jade, is just incredible. <laughs> Remind us what the title of that was. It's called Tunnel's Light, and 
it is featured on my album, Carry Me Away. Yeah. Oh, you got that? You can listen to what you just heard, Tunnels Light by Jade Hendrix, if you go onto iTunes and buy her album, Carry Me Away. So if you're on your computer right now, which if you listen to this show, you probably are, <laughs> straight down to iTunes, double click. Yes, now it's open. Now to the store in the top corner. <laughs> double click. Yes, now it's open. Now into the top search artist, Jade Hendrix. J A D E space H E N D R I X. Now you see the album, which is called Carry Me Away. Now you click buy. <laughs> now it's downloading. After this show, you'll be able to listen to it. Oh, and also, also what? makes a great gift for the holidays. Indeed. And at $9.99, you can't afford not to buy it. That is not $10. <laughs> that is $9.99. So you have got a Save deal. Save that penny. Save that penny. Send that to charity. <laughs> so anyway, it has been fantastic speaking to all of you out there today. We have been with Hanny Nasser, Jade Woo! Hendricks, Erin. Yeah. <laughs> and we are Heartbeat of A Planet. We're here every Thursday. When? We are here Thursdays, 5 to 7. Excite Radio, Heartbeat of a Planet. www.heartbeatofaplanet.com. That is www.heartbeatofaplanet.com. Also, you can find our artist at www.jade Hendricks. Dot com. Get on there. Make sure you get the iTunes again and buy, 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 buy. That's right. Uh, and once again, our extra special guests have been Jade Hendricks, woo! the one and only, and Hani Nasser, woo-woo! the Zen master. Hani, where can they find you? Um, don't say Topanga mm-hmm. at the yeah. coffee shop. <laughs> well, you know... It's www. I, I, oh, my website yeah. is, yeah, it's hannynasser.com. Dot com. That's H-A-N-I-N-A-S-E-R.com. H-A-N-I-N-A-S-E-R.com. Hannynasser.com. Also, if you do want Hanny uh, in any other way, uh, playing or whatever, get in contact with us on our contact page. Playing or whatever. Uh, or whatever. You never know. He's a man of many talents. <laughs> on those oh, cold Let's keep it G-rated <laughs> And he's out there. Um, <laughs> you can find him on our website, heartbeatofaplanet.com. Contact us and uh, we can sort things out for you. Anyway, it's been fantastic. Okay, and we are going to leave you. That's right, with... we are. We're You're leaving just... them. Yeah, no, we're going to. Don't leave me. I'm not leaving you. Okay, we came okay. in the same car. Oh, we did. <laughs> we're married. Oh, I'm stuck with you. I love you, oh, babe. I love you too. She Aww. did you for the carpool. Let's go. <laughs> Um, but we are leaving you for this week. We'll be back next week. We're leaving you for this week with Hanny Nasser playing his oud. Here he is, guys and right. girls. Enjoy. And thank you for listening. Thank you. We'll see you next week. See you next week. Say bye, Jade. Bye, guys. <laughs>
This is Excite Radio, and you've been listening to Heartbeat of a Planet. We're so grateful that all of you have stayed tuned and listened throughout the show. We'll be back this time next week. That's 5 o'clock Thursday to 7 o'clock. You have a great weekend. Peace and love, y'all. We are going nowhere. It's the Hollywood Rock and Wrap Up with your host, Jason Hadley. L.A. County's Department of Child and Family Services is telling Charlie Sheen he can't see his twins. Charlie claims he has no problem seeing the kids as long as he holds up his glasses and drinks all that rum and coke out of the way. Awesome, it's the best drink in the world. An intoxicated Josh Brolin was involved in a fist fight outside of a Los Angeles area bar. The Goonies star is quickly becoming known around the L.A. bar scene as Josh Brolin. Happy birthday to Kardashian little sister Kendall Jenner who turned 18 this weekend. Apparently the young adult still enjoys having clowns at her birthday party. No, those were her parents, Chris and Bruce Jenner. Ugh, this is awkward. Miley Cyrus was photographed taking a joint pass to her by fellow singer Adam Lambert. I say between Miley's current tongue out phase and Adam's lipstick, the scariest thing at that Halloween party was being the third person in that rotation. Name something that gets passed around. And that's the Hollywood Rock and Wrap Up. For all the jokes I can't say here, follow us on Twitter at Rock and Wrap Up. Radio.com. Hey, this is Phil. And this is Aaron, and we're Heartbeat of a Planet. And here's one of our friends to say hi. Hi, I'm Andy Garcia, and I'm here in support of Heartbeat of a Planet for the music lives. Hope everyone's having a great day out there. This is Phil. And this is Aaron. Happy Thursday. Yeah, I hope everyone's not stuck in traffic right now. And if you are, sorry. (laughs) Uh, And if you're at home having a good time, awesome, and listening to the show, we've got a great show ahead of us today. We have got Heartbeat of a Planet's very own Zen Master in here, Hanny Nasser. Say hi, Hanny. Hello there. And... uh, And we've also got the amazing Jade Hendricks in. Say hello, Jade. Hey, guys. So uh, today we've got Jade. We're going to do a little interview and you're going to play a few songs. Is that right? Sounds good to me. And Hanny is going to finish off the show with a lovely song. But today we're going to feature it around Jade. And Hanny is going to chill you all out for the evening ahead and ready for the weekend. So um, what's been happening this week? Uh, What has been happening this week? I can't really remember. I've so let's cast that over to you guys. <laughs> Jade, what's been happening this week? Ah, uh, well, I had a gig in Venice last night. How hump, did that go? It was good. You know, a little hump day gig. Have you guys seen that commercial with the camel? It's like, hump day? What day is it? <laughs> oh, it's the best thing. You do it. Because <laughs> he's got humps and it's Wednesday. Anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. Where was it at? A uh, club called Wits End. And Hanny, you um, you recorded this week, didn't you? 
down at Phonogenic, is that right? Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, some cool, yeah. what was it, ja- um, gypsy jazz little program? Uh, it's a, it kind of like that. Uh, it's still developing, you know, we haven't really finalized it, but it, it, it's, it came, it's sounding great so far. It uh, includes uh, oud, percussion, bass, piano, woodwind, saxophone, and guitar. Really fine uh, gypsy guitar, and it's supposed to be when it. I haven't heard the final mix because I haven't started mixing yet. It was just fresh off the stove, so we're kind of like uh, excited to hear the results of. The Sounds like a really cool project. It is. It is. It's and as really soon cool. as we've got that song that you've done, we will be playing it on the radio. Oh yeah, good. I want to hear it <laughs> myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hanny and Jade are part of Heartbeat of a Planet. Isn't that right, Erin? That is correct. And it's a pleasure to have you guys. It is. It's an absolute pleasure to see you both here today. Thank you. It's, so a, do you want, it's a pleasure and an honor. Do you want to ask Jade any questions, Erin? Take it away. Sure. Um, well, Jade, for our audience, um, yes. can you just introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your background? Yeah. Um, my name is Jade Hendricks. Um, I come from a, a musical family, not just in the obvious way. Uh, <laughs> uh, my mother's a backup singer, so I sort of grew up inundated with all kinds of music. Local girl, sort of, live in Ventura. Nice. <laughs> Yeah. So, Jade, I remember when we were interviewing you and you were talking about growing up with uh, with your mom and her being on stage and hanging out backstage. Yeah. You, you tell the listeners out there the experience that you <laughs> went through back then, because it was absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I have uh, a couple other siblings, and, and we're all sort of rambunctious children. And, you know, usually when... A child is doing something bad and they get reprimanded you know the parent just pulls him aside and lets him know you know you don't do that well when we did something bad it was usually like in the middle of rehearsal in the audience of a big arena and my mom would have to get on the microphone and be like hey hey you kids you cut that, you cut that out <laughs> so it was it was fun and uh, your mom played with Tom Jones, yeah, is that right? Uh, Barry Manilow. Mm-hmm. Who else? Uh, 